Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's video, we will be talking about the object oriented programming concepts in Python. You might have already learned about the object oriented programming concepts in programming languages like C and Java. So, today let us look into the object oriented programming concepts that are available in Python. Before starting the video, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated more and more to upload more videos for you. And at the same time, I want to thank all the audience and viewers for their responses and love they have shown to our recently uploaded videos. Thank you so much. So with this, let us begin with the object oriented programming concepts in Python. In the beginning, I will show you a pictorial diagram which will show you the basic idea of object oriented programming in Python and it will help you to remember the terms and conventions like classes, objects, instances and properties in a very beautiful way. So let's start. Here you can see that this is a pictorial diagram of the object oriented programming concepts in Python. And you can see on top we have the class. So what is a class now? A class is a main entity which has many instances or objects that can be assigned to it or that can be instantiated and created inside it. So on top you can see here is the class and the name of this class is apartments and this apartments class will have many objects or instances. In this case, I have taken three examples of objects or instances, which are Salarpuria, Brigade and Prestige. So what are these three, Salarpuria, Brigade and Prestige? These three are the types of apartments. It can be many more, but I have just taken three examples to keep it simple and short. And here on top of this, you can see this is a class variable. I have taken a class variable named flat size in square feet. There can be many class variables. What is the use of this class variable? This class variable can be accessed by all the objects or instances inside this class. Now the process of creating an instance or an object is known as instantiation. So whenever we create an object or an instance inside a class, the process is known as instantiation. And after creating the objects as you can see here I have created three objects then we have to assign certain attributes or properties which will be common to all the objects inside a class. These attributes or properties will be present in all the three objects that you can see here. Salarpuria, Brigade and Prestige will have all these properties. The properties that I have taken here are the name of the apartment and the price of the apartment. So whenever we create the objects or the instances, then we can assign these properties to all the objects that will be inside this class, which is apartments. Now let us move on to PyCharm so that you can see a real world example where I will show you a program, how to create classes and instantiate objects and assign attributes to them. So okay, let us go on to PyCharm. Here you can see that I have already created a Python file named object oriented programming. And now I will show you how to create a class. To create a class, you have to use the built in keyword class followed by the name of the class. And there is a convention for writing the name of the class. It should be beginning with a capital letter. So I will write the name of my class which is apartment followed by a colon. Now inside the class you can provide a doc string and the use of this doc string or the documentation string will be to define what actually this apartment class will be doing. Now here I will write the doc string. This class defines a variable apartment. Now you have already learned about functions. Functions are certain blocks of code which perform a specific task. 
whenever we use a function inside a class it is actually called a method so please remember this when we define functions inside a class those will be referred to as methods now let me create the first method inside this class the first method inside the class is a magic method which i am going to use it is also called the dunder method or the double underscore method so to create this i will use the def keyword and then i will use underscore underscore as you can see here when i typed underscore underscore it is suggesting me this init one i will press enter and you can see it takes a default argument which is self so this init method helps us to assign attributes to this class apartment so as i showed you in the pictorial representation let me take the attributes the first attribute was name and the second was the square foot price so now you will be thinking what actually this self argument is so let me tell you about this whenever we create an object or an instant of a class then this self argument will refer to that object and it will assign the attributes in this case it will be name and square feet price to that object and i will tell you the convention that we are going to use to assign the attributes we have to use the self keyword followed by self dot name is equal to name and for the second one self dot sft price is equal to sft price so now what is this whenever we create any object of this apartment class what will happen is it will have this two attributes the first one is self dot name equal to name and the second one is self dot square foot price equal to square foot price now when we create the object the self will refer to that object and it will assign the name attribute to that object and it will assign the square feet price attribute to that object i will show you how this works when i instantiate objects let me now create another method which is get name so that i can print the name of my object or my apartment whichever i create as you can see here it also take this default argument self now i will use the print function and then i will print apartment name comma self dot name so what will happen is whenever i create an object and then i invoke this get name method it will print this string apartment name followed by the name of the apartment or that object so this self dot name will go into this init method and it will fetch the name of the apartment or the object that we have created you will understand more about it when we actually instantiate or create objects so let me take another method which is get price and by default it takes the default argument self now for this method to work i have to take certain class variables as i told you the variables created inside the scope of a class will be called class variables i showed you in my pictorial diagram i had a class variable the name of the class variable was flat size in square feet and let me take the value to be 1500 and i will take another variable which is cost and i will assign it the value 0 now here in this get price method first i will print the square foot price i will write the square foot price is self dot square foot price and then i will update the cost class variable here so now as this is a class variable i will show you how you can access the class variable to access this class variable what you have to do is you have to write the name of the class you can see the name of the class is apartment so i will take the name of the class then you have to use the dot operator 
and as you can see as I typed dot I'm getting all this suggestions so this is the class variable cost I'm taking it and then I will write this flat size in square foot class variable into my square foot price so how to do it again to access the class variable I have to take the name of the class which is apartment then I have to use the dot operator as you can see I'm getting this flat size in square foot class variable so what I want to do is I want to calculate the cost the cost will be this class variable flat size in square foot which is 1500 into the square foot price so I have to use the asterisk or the star followed by the square foot price so to call it I have to use self dot square foot price now let me also print the cost the apartment cost is then I will call my apartment cost variable by using the dot operator now I have created this class apartment which has the class variables flat size in square foot and the cost and it has the following values 1500 and 0 then I use the init method which is a magic method and this init method is also known as the constructor and it actually helps in assigning attributes to the instances or objects inside a class then I use the other method which is get name and it will actually print the name of the object or the apartment that we will create then I used another method or created another method where we are getting the price of the apartment how we are doing it we are multiplying the class variable flat size in square foot by the attribute square foot price as you can see here apartment dot flat size in square foot into self dot square foot price so now let me show you how to create instances or objects of this class let me create the first instant say it is a1 to create an instance of a class you have to write the name of the class in this case the name will be apartment and then you have to give brackets and as soon as I give bracket you can see it's asking me the name and the square foot price which are the attributes so here let me give the first name which is brigade then I have to provide the square foot price also let it be 5000 now I want to invoke this get name function inside the class how can I do it to do it I have to use the name of the object and as because we have created this object or instant which belongs to this class apartment what we can do is we can invoke this get name method by using a1 dot as soon as I press dot you can see I am getting all the suggestions out of which I will use the get name method so you can see by using the dot operator we are getting this get name method which is actually belonging to the class apartment and let me invoke the other method also which was get price so I have to write the name of the object then followed by the dot then it is giving me the suggestion as you can see get price and now if I run my program you will find that when I invoke this get name method I should get the name of the apartment which is brigade here and here when I invoke the get price method I should be getting 5000 multiplied by the flat size in square foot which is 1500 now let me run it for you I'm running it so this is the output you can see here when I call my a1.getName method I'm getting this get name which says apartment name and self dot name so self dot name is the first argument self which will now call this object or refer to this object and it will invoke this name which is brigade and therefore we are getting the name brigade here and then when I called a1 dot get price 
here you can see I took the apartment class variable which is cost then I updated it by saying apartment dot flat size in square foot multiplied by this self dot square foot price so right now what is the flat size in square foot it is the class variable the value is 1500 and then the square foot price is the attribute of the object that we created which is 5000 so when 1500 is multiplied by 5000 we are getting this result which is 75 lakhs and we also got this print statement which is the square foot price printed it says the square foot price is self dot square foot price as you can see here the square foot price is 5000 as we passed here 5000 so this is a basic example of object oriented programming in python where you saw how to create a class with the naming convention and these are the class variables flat size in square feet and the cost then as you can see here i initially gave the value zero and then finally i updated it with the help of this get price method and now if i create another object a2 then as i told you earlier to make it an instant or an object of the apartment class we have to take the name of the class which is apartment then we have to give braces and say this time I am taking the name Salad Puria. And now I have to give the square foot price, let it be 3000. And then to invoke the two methods, I have to use the name of my object, then use the dot operator. And you can see I am getting the get name method. And then I will use the object once again. Then I will call my get price method. And if I run it now, I will be getting two outputs for the first object and the second object and whenever I tell object or instant you should remember that object or instant refers to the same entity and the process of creating an object is known as instantiation so let me run it for you now now you can see for the first one I already explained it this is the output and for the second object that I instantiated, this is the output. The name of the apartment is Salapuria. The square feet price is 3000 as we provided here. This is the 3000. And for the get price method, I am getting the result. The apartment cost is 45 lakhs. With this, we come to the conclusion of this topic. Here you have seen how to create classes and how to work with methods in classes and please remember whenever a function is defined inside a class it is known as a method. Then we also learned about the init method which is also known as the constructor. It helps us to assign attributes to a class which will be referring to the objects or instances that we create in that class. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.